So years ago, uh, friends and I made a series and we never made another one and I still... Yes. <laughs> series. <laughs> Yeah, so this I saved from going to a rubbish heap. Um, I really like it, but a lot of people don't. This was 30 bucks at um, Vinny's, which I thought was good. It's really weird to think of myself as a writer because, um, you know, there are people who have degrees and have written dozens of short stories for, you know, magazines and everything else. And they deserve that title when they start to write, for sure. Uh, but at the same time, I have written something. So I am a writer, just by definition. A writer is a person who writes. I don't go telling people that yet, but we'll see. But I've spent my whole adult life and most of my high school life as an actor. And so much of that is present in what I write in the, in the way that I don't know, I don't know what the ratio is normally between dialogue and just uh, expose or whatever, but my books read like a script sometimes. It's, the, the scenes of dialogue just go on and on and on for pages and it's like you're reading a play. Outside is, this is what it is. It's not huge, it's nice to paint. That to me is what, I, I've read more plays than I have books. So then when I sit down to write, even, I'm not interested in writing plays um, because just, I've put on theatre before and it's so damn tedious that I can't handle that. And I find collaboration really frustrating because not everyone will pull their weight in the process. So it's like, okay, I'll just go write the book myself and I can just blame myself when it fails, if it fails. So I wrote the story in France and basically finished it at the same time I was returning home. So I've brought it back here, an uh, incomplete product. It needed a lot of polishing. And so I had to sit down and edit it constantly. And I would, I would just have to look at my schedule and find little moments in the day to sit down and edit three or four chapters. Because it takes a lot longer here. There's a lot more distractions. Uh, I'm not as inspired. Sometimes I read it and I hate it. So yeah, I just have to find these hours in the day and then I have to find the hours in the day to the other stuff. There is a lot involved in publishing this that isn't fun, that's business. And I can switch that on, but it's not natural for me. And so right now I'm juggling the creative side of editing a book and releasing it, and the business side of releasing a book, which, you know, are, are loggerheads with each other, they don't, they don't like each other. But <laughs> it's, it's what it is, yeah. I've actually painted the cover of my book and everything that I read or was told is don't do the cover yourself because you're, A, you're not a designer and B, it's, it's good to collaborate with people. Um, so I found an artist online who I liked and I was talking to her and she sounded keen and then she asked for the manuscript and I sent her the manuscript and I never heard from her again. I never ever heard from her again. Um, so I, I blocked her on Instagram and she blocked me. It's, there's, there's a real tight timeline with this. And I knew that I had the skills to do it, but I couldn't picture it. And it was the hardest thing. Picturing the story was easy, but the cover was impossible. Um, and I do all my thinking, creative thinking, I do either walking or swimming. And I'd started swimming every day again a couple months ago. And every lap or every 100 meters, I'd try and picture a different book cover. And it took me about two weeks of doing that. And I thought of dozens and sometimes I'd come home and mock them up and then hate them. And then one day I thought of one which I liked and I came home and, uh, and I did it with a medium I'd never used. I used crayons and ink and I loved it. And I just, 
yeah, I got it right the first time. And then I was like, oh, okay, there's a couple of things I don't like. I'm going to try it again. And when I tried it again, they were shit. It was only that, that actual one. Um, it's, it's just the one it has to be. It's, yeah, it's the only one that, that worked. You have to interrupt it. So what I just layer it now. So I paint the sky, then that, and then the tree. And then if I like it, it'll live. If not, I'll paint over it tomorrow. <laughs> Mostly I walk, I walk everywhere. I try not to, I don't drive anywhere and I don't, I don't get public transport when I have to. I've done three really long walks across France and Spain and I feel like walking is, it's just dream time for me. I won't put in the headphones or anything else, I'll just sit there and think, just move around and look at different things and just let my mind wander. You have to read a whole range of authors, otherwise you're gonna steal voices. Um, and patterns that some authors have. But, I mean, if that comes out of the subconscious and you can't judge it, if it's your subconscious brain, if that's what it's doing, you, you have to respect it. I think being creative is use it or lose it fitness. You, if you don't keep exercising that muscle, you're just gonna go dry and it's gonna become harder and harder for you to do it. And you're just gonna stop. You're not gonna think it's worthwhile anymore. And you're just gonna watch TV. But if you keep making stuff, then you one day will make something good, maybe. But if you don't, whatever, who cares? It's, it's, you know, it's pretty harmless. No one has to read these dumb stories. Come here. Wanna go for a walk? Huh? Walk? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, I do. In terms of this book, I, I think with, I imagine with a book that the first print lives and it's very hard to go back and, and change it. Um, I, I feel like whether you are proud of it or you regret it, it's done and it is what it is. And maybe you can try and redeem it by following up a sequel or giving a bunch of interviews or trying to disown it. But once it's out there, it's, it's out there, yeah. It'd be weird to do an edit. Look, once you release something, you definitely lose whatever that inspiration was or that muse was um, that inspired it. And you also lose that world that it exists in. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know, to be honest. I don't know if I will let go of it or if I will keep pushing it down different avenues. There's potential for it to be released in different platforms. I would love to do an audio book really love to do an audiobook of it so I think I'll be, be on this project for at least another year and then the dream would be to sell the film rights and then get all that money and then be involved in that um, unless unless people just despise it in which case I'll hope it has a quick death. <laughs> <laughs>